Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Ara Hakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Shalom to the sincere brethren out there pushing this word and to you sincere listeners. So I want to go into a quick lesson. <coughs> and it's based upon uh, you know, this bill here. Which uh this is from the New York uh Senate. So this is a you know a law that they want to pass for the state of New York. And it's Assembly Bill A416. And I'm gonna just read uh, a little bit of it and then we're gonna hit uh some scriptures. You know, as we in the time, you know, of Yahbashim Yahweh Shai fulfilling his prophecies, man, fulfilling those last, you know, few prophecies and the return of Yahweh Shai happening. Okay, and this man is making moves, you know, to have those uh events take place because Esau Edom has to get to a certain point before the Most High makes his move. Okay, and this is just, you know, this legislation is leading up to that point. Uh, so it says Assembly Bill A416 relates to the removal of cases, contacts, and carriers of communicable diseases who are potentially dangerous to the public health. And pretty much where they're going to put you at, man. You know, what we've been prophesying about, you know, for years now, they're going to put you in or well, the new term is quarantine camps, you know? So they're gonna be able to go into your house, you know, kick your door down, re forcibly remove you from your house in the name of, of public health. So it says, uh, an act to amend the public health law. And I'll, I'll put this part uh, in the, in the post-production, you know, Lord willing. It says an act to amend the public health uh, law in relation to the removal of cases contacts and carriers of communicable diseases who are potentially dangerous to the public health so cases somebody you know who they say or you might have tested positive uh for whatever you know diseases out there contacts is somebody who say they you had contact with this person you know you may not may or may not have it but you had contact with this person so we we may be able to deem you a threat it says contacts and carriers of communicable diseases. So people that have tested positive, whether or not they actually have it or not, could be an asymptomatic case. Uh, people that have had contact, okay, with somebody that's a case or actually has, you know, the sickness, man. All three of these groups can be uh, rounded up. Okay, so uh, section one. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm going to just get straight to the point. You know, it says section one, the public health law is amended by adding a new section, uh, 2120A, to read as follows. Uh, 2120A, removal and detention of cases, contacts and carriers who are or may be a danger to public health. Uh, other orders. One, the provisions of this section shall be utilized in the event that the governor declares a state of health emergency due to a epidemic or any communicable disease. So if this passes, all the governor has to do is just declare a state of emergency and this law will be in effect. All right. It says upon determining by clear and convincing evidence that the health of others is or may be endangered. Uh, by a case, contact, or carrier, or suspected case, contact, or carrier of a contagious disease that, in the opinion of the governor, after consultation with the commissioner, may in uh, may impose an imminent and significant threat to the public health, resulting in severe morbidity or high mortality. The governor or his or her delegate or delegee including but not limited to the commissioner or the heads of the local health departments may order the removal okay where they gonna remove you from your house and we've been talking about these things man through the spirit and power of Yahweh beginning first and foremost with the elders man the elders and apostles all right we've been telling you so-called negroes latinos and native americans that these things are gonna happen man all right esau edom the so-called white man who you have a love affair for He's going to come down with great wrath. Okay. He's going to show his horns, man. We've been telling you that this man's the devil. 
All right, but Jake doesn't believe it. So you're going to experience it, man. It says may order the removal and or detention of such a person or of a group of such persons. So you might be with somebody that, you know, uh, they came in contact with somebody, man. So now you've, you've come in contact with somebody that's come in contact. Now they can they can detain all of you, you know, they can throw all of you in, in, in a quarantine camp, man. Or they can come to all, you, all of your houses as well. It says, uh, or or of a group of persons by issuing a single order, identifying such persons either by name or by uh, reasonable specific descriptions of the individuals or group being detained. It, 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 that's pretty much it, man. You know, I don't really got to read uh, anything else. You get the gist of the point, man. You, you, you see what this legislation is about. All right. And this is, you know, what we've been prophesying, okay? Esau Edom is getting ready to show you his horns, man. We've been telling you that this man is wicked, that he wants to, you know, put you to death. He wants to do all these things to you. And Jake, you know, look at us like we got five heads when we tell him these things, man. Oh, not all, not all uh, so-called white people are bad. Well, hey, you, you getting ready to experience it, man. This is Revelation 12 and 12. It says, therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And what is this all? You know, why is he doing these things? He's doing this because he wants to hold on to his rulership, man. He wants to keep his hegemony. All right. And he knows that the nation of Israel is on the rise. So the only way in his mind to stop it, all right, to stop the prophecies from coming to pass is to completely exterminate you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, man. All right. And also, you know, for the brothers that's in the know, okay, these uh, laws, you know, they also apply to us, man. Okay, but we've been, you know, preparing ourselves through the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, to deal with these things. Okay. We have words of, of, of comfort. This is Revelation 2 and 10. It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Okay. And it don't mean, you know, you're going to actually go to jail. Oh, you got to be in jail for this to come to pass. It could be a quarantine camp, man. Okay. You just being, you know, uh, uh, locked up somewhere. Okay. It could be a black site, you know, but this man is going to lock certain individuals up indefinitely. All right. Meaning you ain't going to have no trial. You know, there ain't going to be no, no lawyer that's going to come defend you. Okay. It says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil... Which the devil is Esau Edom The same devil that's going to come down with that great wrath Is going to cast some of us into prison It says the devil shall cast some of you into prison That ye may be tried And this is all a test Okay, this is all a part of the hour of temptation Alright, and Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to use this To test our caliber, man To test our merit Alright, do we have faith in him Or are we going to fold and give in to the flesh it says that ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation 10 days. Now, it doesn't mean that it's going to be exactly 10 days. Okay. You're going to have somebody that's going to read this and they're going to be counting. And then the 11th day going to come and they're going to bug out, man. Okay. 10 days just means a period of time. All right. It says, and ye shall have tribulation 10 days. Be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. And that's how far our faith has to go for you. How about Shemiah was shot? You have to be willing to put your life on the line to stay pure in the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and not be defiled by anything that Esau Edom wants to present to you, man. You know, he's going to try to get you to sell out. He's going to try to get you to bow down to the spiritual demon Satan, man. Okay, he's going to try to get you to forsake Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And we can't do that at any cost, man. If our life is on the line, we, 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 we can't, you know, save our life to bow down to Satan, man. Okay, we have to stay pure to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Pure and dedicated. This is Revelation 3 and 10. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. And this is going into the hour of temptation because he's going he's gonna to use these tools, okay, to try to get you to submit to the new world order, man. To try to get you to commit iniquity, okay. Against Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and declare Esau Edom the devil as your perpetual slave master, man. 
He's going to use uh, indefinite detentions. He's going to use uh, you not being able to participate in society. You not being able to go to the grocery store. You not being able to feed yourself, man. You not being able to work. You not being able to move. All right. It says, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And this is a, a test. Okay. The ultimate test is coming, man. All right. You know, and there was a, a video, you know, the elder brother Gad had sent out. And it was a, a, a Edomite woman. She was going into, you know, how these elites are setting up their new world order. And basically what she said is happening. You know, Esau is destroying you know, uh, this middle area that you can be in, you know, you could be self-sufficient, you know, try to do things on your own or submit to, uh, uh, the state, you know, so that middle area is being destroyed. You can't be in the middle no more. You got to pick a side now, man. Okay. You have to pick whether you're going to be with your how about Shimmy, how shy and the system that he set up the way of life that he said you supposed to, uh, uh, live. Or are you going to side with Esau Edom and, uh, uh, you know, adhere to the standard of life that he is getting ready to set up. All right. Which is complete wickedness, man. And those individuals that, that fall, all right, that side with Esau, Edom, they're going to be destroyed. This is a uh, second Ezra 16 and 67. It says, behold, the most high himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave all from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall the Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. And this is what we're trying to do, man. Okay. We're trying to be led from all trouble. Now, how do you be led from all trouble? You have to stay pure in the sight of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You have to keep his ways, man. You can't deviate from the right or to the right hand or to the left. Okay. You can't dabble with Esau. Okay. You can't dabble with this system that he's, uh, uh, you know, implementing and then think that you're going to be cool with Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, because he's going to make you make a choice, man. You either all in or you ain't in at all. Okay, so you ain't going to be able to say, yeah, I'm down with, you know, I'm down with this. You know, I'm, 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 I'm down with the system that you that you implementing. Yeah, yeah, man, you know, this is a good thing. No, you're going to have to put an RFID microchip inside of your body, man. Okay, so you can't be on the fence. All right. It says, uh, verse 68, it says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. So they're going to take away certain of you. You're going to be in your house, okay? And Esau, Edom is going to come in and pull you out, man, and, and throw you in the camp. It says, And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. They shall be like madmen, sparing none. Who is this, these madmen? That's Esau, Edom coming down with that great wrath, man. Okay, like a like a madman. When you look that word up, uh, wrath. Okay, in in the Greek, it, the definition is somebody that's that's drunken and enraged, man. So he's going to be drunk off his rage. Nothing nothing you say to him is going to snap him out of that state, man. Okay, like you see certain of these cops that be, you know, they be Roy raging, man. You know, they just, they just angry for no reason. Okay, nothing you say to him, no matter how, you know, much you try to de-escalate the situation. He's still on that, on that, that same level, man. He's still in that same mode of, of, you know, trying to cause bodily harm to you, man. That's, that's the mindset that Esau Edom is going to come down with, man. Okay. And all you you uh, uh, hand in hand niggas out there, you gonna see, you gonna experience this firsthand, man. You gonna try to calm Esau down. You gonna try to talk to him nice, you know. You gonna try to show him that you you're you're a so called educated, so called Negro, Latino, and Native American. You went to his college system. You gonna try to reason with him, and he gonna put you to death, man. It says they should be like madmen, sparing none. So ain't nobody gonna get spared, man. No matter what kind of so called Negro, Latino, or Native American you are, man. It don't matter if you went to college. It don't matter if you in a fraternity. Okay. It don't matter if you uh, uh, in the corporate world. You you go you gonna get put to death. Okay. It says they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. And that's the bill that we reading about, man. 
Okay, you can be removed and detained indefinitely. All right, if you are a case, you're a contact, or you have a communicable uh, disease, man. Okay, and these are the times that we're living in. And you still got our people playing games, thinking things is a joke, man. You you getting ready to see, all right? You niggas were screaming. You know I'm popping fireworks, screaming at the top of your lungs, thinking that 2021 was going to be something different than the last year. Well, hey, it is going to be different, man. All right? But not not the difference that you expected, okay? <laughs> this is Jeremiah 30 and 5. It says, For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Yeah, the great fear is going to fall upon you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? Like the scriptures tell you in 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter, you're going to dwell in torments, man. Okay, and that word torments, when you look it up, it means physical and mental anguish. And that's, that's what's coming to you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So we're entering into this time of distress for Jacob. Who's Jacob? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay. It says, but he shall be saved out of it. The he that is talking about are the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, the sincere uh, worshippers of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, the ones that have, that have repented, all right, and they're doing their best to try to adhere to that standard that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai laid down for us, man. Those are the ones that's gonna be delivered. The rest of you niggas, you gonna die, man. Okay, the Lord gonna do a cold sweep of you niggas, man. Verse eight, it says, "For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai." Of host That I will break his yoke from off thy neck And who's the yoke Who has their yoke upon us Esau, Edom man Okay The Most High is going to break the yoke from off our neck Meaning we're going to be released from captivity It says that I will break the yoke from off His yoke from off thy neck And will burst thy bonds And strangers shall no more serve themselves of him So we ain't going to be slaves no more man We're getting ready to be delivered up out of this place Okay Verse 9, it says, But they shall serve the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, their power, and David their king, who I will raise up unto them. Okay? And that's talking about when we enter into the kingdom, man. So the ones that's gonna that's gonna be delivered, all right, the most high is going to release them out of captivity, and he's gonna set them up in the kingdom, man. All right, but the rest of you, you're gonna have to deal with this trouble, and it's gonna cause you to get put to death, man. All right, and you you, you see the legislation being rolled out. Okay, these things are getting ready to happen, man. All right. You know, so with that, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai willing, this is an edifying lesson. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Yahweh Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom.